Okay, we're going to take a look at even and odd functions. So again, go ahead and make a tab, title it even and odd functions. Cut it to the margin and all the way down. I'm going to pause the video and copy the notes down. Alright, so let's take a look at it. What is an even function? Alright, it's a function where f of x is equal to f of negative x. Graphically, what it says is it's, it's um, symmetric with respect to the y-axis. So let's look at the graphs. Is the y-axis, if I fold it over, is it the same? Yes. So that's an even function because it's symmetric across the y-axis. Let's take a look at another graph. So again, if I put it on the y-axis, if I fold it, does it look the same? No, because that top part goes to the top. So that's not even, so let's take a look at what odd is. Odd says that negative f of x is equal to f of negative x, and graphically, it's symmetric with respect to the origin, meaning when you spin it, okay, when you spin it, um, it's gonna look the same. So let's spin it, yes. When I spin it, it looks the same. So that is odd. And I'm gonna do it the other way. Again, when I spin it, it looks the same. So that's an odd function. Now let's take a look at one more graph one. All right, again, let's start with the y-axis. If I fold it, does it look the same? No. What about if I spin it? All right, so if I spin it, I'm gonna look at that top right part. Does it look like that? Top right, no. See, this the graph the top right doesn't look the same. So this is neither even or odd. Okay, so that's graphically is the most easy. If you can't look at it graphically, you can look at it as a function. So let's take a look at a function. These are the steps that you need to take. You write down the original function. All right. Then you substitute negative x for every x. Because I want f of negative x. Remember, it's whatever is just inside the parentheses. So that's going to be negative, negative x squared plus 10. And then simplify that, so you're going to get f of negative x is equal to, negative x squared is x squared, and then with a negative outside plus 10. Alright, so is it the same as your original? So let's look at the two right there. Are those the same? Yes. If they are exactly the same, if f of x is equal to f of negative x, then it is an even function. This is a listening check. Put a box around the word even and color it in. Okay, so let's take a look at another example. So again, you write down the original function, f of x equals whatever it says. And then we have to plug in negative x for every x. So f of negative x, there's an x there, equals negative x cubed plus four parentheses negative x. Now you're just gonna do it. So negative, f of negative x is negative x three times. So I'm gonna do it on the side, negative x, negative x, negative x. And then I'm gonna work it out. A negative and a negative is positive and another negative is negative, so it's negative, and then I have three x's. Then I'm just gonna get in the house there, so that's gonna give me negative four x. Right, so remember, if it's even, f of x and f of negative x are the same. So let's take a look at those two. They're not the same because they have negatives. So now I'm gonna check if it's odd. Odd is the same thing, only thing is it's not f of x, it's negative f of x. So that's what I need to find, negative f of x. So what I do is, okay, so it's not even, so I go no. I write down my original function with parentheses around it. Okay. And, oh, I forgot to put in the notes. So go ahead and put this. Put a negative outside the parentheses. The listening check, circle the number six. Okay, so put a negative outside. Let's go ahead and get in there. So that's going to give me negative x cubed minus 4x. Now, is that the same as f of negative x? So we look at those two equations. So f of negative x and that one we just found. Is it the same? Yes. Then it's odd. This is a listening check. Put a box around what I'm writing down right now and color it. So basically put in a negative outside and put in a negative where you see x. Okay. All right, now we're going to take a look at if it's neither. So again, write down the original function. So you do just the same exact steps. So f of x is the original function. Then you're gonna find negative x, so you're gonna plug in negative x where you see x. 
we're going to simplify that. So negative x times negative x times negative x. Negative is, and a negative is a positive times another negative is a negative. And then three x's. And then we're going to have a positive and a negative is a negative and a negative two. Simplify that. It's going to be plus and the rest stays the same. Now we look at it. This is when you see either the original function and f of negative x. So that's how you know if it's even. So you look at those two. Are they the same? Is that the same as that? No, because there's a negative outside the first one. So if it's not even, I'm going to check if it's odd. So if it's odd, I've already found the f of negative x. I'm going to rewrite the function again with a negative outside the parentheses. Then go ahead and get in the house and simplify it. So you're going to get x cubed minus 5x plus 2. Now if it's odd, that is equal to f of negative x. So those two right, right besides are the same? No, because it's supposed to be a plus or minus 2, whichever one. So if it's not even or odd, it's neither. And that's it. Best practice.